A rainy and overcast day as some of the Big Ten's best descend on downtown Chicago for basketball media day. And for defending conference champion IU, what a difference a few months make. Back in March, Indiana was viewed as a massive underachiever after falling in the Sweet 16 to Syracuse. But based on early national perspective, if this year's group of Hoosiers was to reach the round of 16 in 2014, they'd be viewed as massive overachievers. Seven new faces will be welcomed to Bloomington this season, including six true freshmen, which means the onus for leadership will fall on two of the holdovers from a year ago. Will Sheehy and Yogi Ferrell. What I've been doing is just uh, trying to get my teammates to trust me. I feel like myself, uh, they know me and Will, they know we want to be the leaders of the team. So what we've been trying to do is get those guys to trust us because, uh, you know, we know we're not going to do them wrong because uh, we know we have the best interests in the team and we just want to win. It's a little different, obviously. Um, you have to really relay messages to younger guys. Um, but from a basketball standpoint, really everyone's just got to play their role. So if everyone just knows what their strengths and weaknesses are and plays their strengths, then um, I think the team will continue to build. And it remains to be seen. It, it'll, it'll, it'll start to show up when we're down four with two minutes to go on the road somewhere. Or, or when we've got to build, we're on an 8-0 run and we've got a chance to build up a lead. Do we keep doing it or do we go into a mode where we think we can take a hero shot? We'll get our first taste of the new look Hoosiers November 8th when IU welcomes Chicago State to Assembly Hall. Purdue, meanwhile, may not be getting the same kind of attention from the preseason polls as the Hoosiers, but there's still plenty of buzz in West Lafayette. The Boilermakers return a core group headlined by sophomore center A.J. Hammonds. And, of course, there's that talented freshman class led by former Northrop star Bryson Scott. There's no question Matt Painter has the pieces in place to improve on last year's sub-500 mark in the Big Ten. You know, we have um, we have so many pieces um, to our puzzle this year that that can um, you know guys are, are able to do different things. Uh, we don't have you know just one guy or two guys that can score. We have you know a lot of guys that can score, rebound, and things like that. We just want to go into the season and uh, kind of turn around <laughs> what uh, happened last year. Just um, really get back to winning, uh, playing hard, and playing defense. AJ Hammonds is in a, is in better shape. Ronnie Johnson has improved his skill level. So each guy's added a. Uh, uh, you know, a, a piece to their game, and uh, but it but it lies in their production. You know what I mean? Right now, everybody's saying the right things at media day. You know what I mean? It lies in your production. You got to be able to go out there and show on Wednesday and Saturday nights. Um, that you've gotten better. Both Purdue and IU have already started exhibition play. Ironically enough, both programs have knocked off Division II power, Indianapolis. We've got much more coverage from Big Ten Basketball Media Day is coming up tonight at 11, along with a preview of our Highlight Zone Game of the Week between Wayne and Snyder. Reporting in Chicago, Joe Whalen, News Channel 15 Sports. we got more.